welcome back guys to the channel and tada <laughs> how is my new look how is my ball get head looking nice uh, so yeah, I left Adelaide, my host, amazing people. Oh. Say cheese. 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 Oh, I'm filming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I uh, had a good time there. I spent uh, three nights and uh, now I'm uh, eating a burger from uh, kangaroo meat. <laughs> they prepare me and uh, yeah, they bought me uh, <laughs> this bag. And this bag is full of uh, full of food, full of snacks. So, I mean, amazing people. Anyway, so I took a train, 50 kilometers outside Adelaide to Govlar, Govlar, something like that. Uh, now, next three days, I'm gonna cycle. Uh, small roads, probably farm roads, probably it's gonna be boring, so I'm not gonna do much filming. And then three or something day I should reach uh, Flinders Range National Park where the real outback begins. So then it's gonna be the start of a real uh, adventure, let's say that. And uh, yeah, till then, uh, till then we'll see. Today I uh, have maybe 90 kilometers day and tonight gonna stay with warm showers so let's hit the road. Ah, got my first puncture. But not sure which uh, which wheel but it uh, looks like sound it sealed it already. Ay, 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 let's see. Yeah, it's a back one. Oh, I can see it. Looks like it's here. Yeah, actually, my back tire is really worn out. I would need to change with the front one at some point would be good to do before the outback oh, but anyways I love tubeless <laughs> I just need pump it and uh, good to go uh, yeah day two on a small roads like this every everything is the same just big big green fields and nothing more but uh, yeah, maybe tomorrow by the end of the day should be less green and uh, more uh, dry, but we'll see. Uh, look what I found, such a beautiful place to pitch a tent. And there is even uh, a toilet where I can uh, wash myself. So it's a free... Uh, Free resting area or something down there as well. Even uh, there is even uh, another camper. So and uh, also there is a spring over there. So. such a beautiful place it's a bit pity that it's uh, too cold otherwise I would jump there so yeah uh, I found this place oh. 
so one one guy recommend me I bought this app Wiki Camps Australia. Few people actually recommend me. It's only four euros. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a game changer for sure. You can find hidden places like this, you know. I mean, so you can find some uh, where you can find water, free water, free shower, free campsites and much more. So it's gonna be useful app a lot. Yeah. Oh, so I didn't replace my zipper. I just, uh, I just fix, uh, fix this with the pliers. I compress a bit, a little bit more. So I hope it's gonna work. But yeah, beautiful day today. Life is good. I hope no more rain these days. Because the more south you go, the less rain you get. Anyways, so this is uh, this is the place. Something is happening here. Oh, so many. Hey. They don't afraid at all. Oh. oh my God. So I just I just pull out my pasta, start cooking, and these ten birds just came. Oh, this is going into bag already. I never saw these kind of birds. They're very noisy. Uh, yeah, probably need to bring food tonight in my tent, otherwise they can uh, snack a bit. I say. Oh man, the wind is brutal today. The wind is so strong, barely moving with the lowest gear. Up to 50 kilometers per hour. It's just... I don't know. It's all day like this. I think... I gonna find a rest stop and gonna try to hitchhike. At least... 50 kilometers or so. Cause it's just... I think I would push my bicycle the same speed but you can see the landscape it's already changing it's getting drier and drier so at least today is no rain so but whew. Really tough to cycle. I need to I need to stop a car soon. All right. Whew, yeah. One hour was pushing my bicycle because uh, it was easier than cycle but uh, one guy picked me up and uh, drove me uh, 50 kilometers around 52 I think and uh, yeah and here is much warmer and a little bit less windy and the landscape is already dry so uh, it's almost three here. So I gonna cycle a bit into a bush somewhere and look for the look for the place for the night. So try to find 
find us uh, more as possible winter protection from wind because it's still pretty windy and I don't know how it's gonna be at night but uh, this is what I found I think I'm gonna put my tent here and yeah this is my first bush camp and uh, for dinner is a risotto I never cooked before risotto like this, so not sure how it's gonna be. <laughs> Puncture again. Same, ba same back tire. Uh, just love hooker. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like it at all. I need to go back to city, to town because it uh, looks like uh, maybe it's not enough uh, sealant liquid it cannot seal itself, I don't know As you can see how it's, uh, how it's worn out this is crack here and also one small crack here and this is the front one much better so luckily they let me into this uh, garage and they sell some slime for the tire so I'm gonna try to fix it yeah totally empty no slime at all and this is the slime from the front tire So with this one I'm gonna leave it, just gonna clean up tire a bit and uh, gonna try to put some air, I'm doing this for first time so it's a good, gonna be a good lesson, I hope it's gonna work out. So one hole is too big to seal it so I, I use this uh, repair kit. So now I hope it's gonna stay good. Alright, after two hours finally the work is done, I hope it's gonna stay good, behind me some clouds, dark clouds picking up, so it's supposed to rain today, the second half of the day, so it's already 12 o'clock, so maybe I'm gonna, I don't know, at least 50 kilometers today would be nice. <laughs> but let's see, let's see. Yeah, looks like storm is coming behind me. Really dark clouds. And of course there is no shelter here. The closest uh, shelter I think is 40 kilometers. <laughs> Look 
at this beauty, guys. It's just unbelievable the colors. I wonder how far I should I, I would need to cycle to this place. <laughs> Great Wall of China. <laughs> So uh, we are in Blinman, the highest town in uh, South Australia state. It's an uh, old mining town, it used to be. It was mining uh, copper since 1860s uh, or something, and end of 50s maybe. Anyway, nothing much. One hotel one pub, a few more buildings and a lot of uh, tourist caravans so honestly I did not expect that this uh, Flinders range is gonna be uh, so lush and green you know <laughs> I don't know why I get this idea that it's gonna be uh, pretty dry but it was uh, yeah, a lot of colors. Some epic ride for sure, best ride in Australia. Uh, 
and now it's only flat I would guess it's gonna be flat for some time now no hills at least few thousand kilometers maybe all right so I'm on the main road some uh, town junction and they have a public shower which is awesome five days already without so only two Australian dollars which is 150 euro or something so it's gonna be perfect I'm gonna wash my clothes because I'm stinky I'm gonna wash myself and I enjoy the sunshine all right so we're going to Marie 184k hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna reach it as the last town before the outback look at this cutie ah, whoa he's mad look at him ah. he have a black black uh, tongue and a really weird tail the tail is like head you know shit maybe maybe this is poisonous I don't he can spit on me how do I know yeah better better leave it alone <laughs> you don't know these creatures in Australia I don't know if you can see but have some virus in my eye a few days ago and it's getting bigger bigger so I need to put uh, some warmer uh, how do you say in English I forgot the name she compresses compresses it's in Lithuania <laughs> anyway so I need to put something hot but I don't have anything to keep the inflammation uh, down so I'm gonna use uh, this tea bag oh, it's a bit hot but oh, I should be good uh, twice a day at least because it's getting bigger and bigger it's not good I don't know old riverbed yeah, if I always have a chance, I always gonna put uh, my tent in the old river, but because it's uh, there is always gonna be some vegetation, trees or some bushes or whatever, so it's gonna be a, can be a good wind protection. Yeah, especially in the big open uh, places like this, you know like deserts and uh, where wind can be unpre unpredictable so you always need to find uh, some some wind cover so So I did shopping back 30 kilometers uh, last shopping before uh, the Outback it was the cheapest uh, grocery store it's gonna be maybe one or two more but it's gonna be super expensive so anyways I, w I, I wanted to buy some pastry you know some donuts but it was a little bit too expensive and now 30 kilometers uh, later on the road I just find, find this one finger bun it's a little bit uh, smash but it's uh, totally fine mm. and it's delicious 
you always get what you want for in the end, you know? <clears throat> Snacking in the middle of the road. Find one dollar. I think it's my lucky day today. Donut, one dollar. <laughs> 20 kilometers left to Mari. So one more hour on. Hey guys, so I'm in Mary, Mari, uh, this motel, uh, you can stay behind the motel in this uh, caravan park for free and you shower for free, but I expect that they expect that you're gonna buy a drink or a dinner, so probably I'm gonna cook a dinner, but probably I'm gonna grab a beer or something later. Uh, yeah, so uh, Una Data track tomorrow. So I'm pretty excited, but I have a little bit uh, small concern about my tire. I'm gonna show you that tomorrow, maybe. Uh, yeah, I wanna show you also what I have, uh, what I bought today, and what I have uh, for this expedition. I mean, food, my supplies. All right, so uh, tortillas, gonna put the peanut butter, jam, some cookies, uh, mixed nuts, dates, oats, uh, so some peanuts with crackers mix, some gummies, uh, this is some rice meal, a lot of pasta, so I'm gonna add this bit by bit to each of this noodles and burritos some chips some more crackers uh, some biscuits some bars tuna cans chicken cans chocolate chocolate uh, yeah that's it looks a lot probably it's gonna be a little bit yeah it's too much actually but better you never know you know so because i think i'm gonna be i would say four nights uh four four five days so uh, yeah but uh maybe actually maybe this is yeah, maybe five day food ah but we'll see anyway so yeah this is what i have for my food for udna data track But more about that tomorrow. Now I'm gonna cook some pasta, of course. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of pasta these days. And I'm uh, gonna grab some beer. Still my uh, electronics charging in motel. So uh, see you next week.